Hey, I'm Ayana, and if you are new to my channel, welcome and feel free to hit subscribe. And if you are returning, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some bomb um, graduation cap hair hacks for natural hair and straight hair. I'll be graduating this Tuesday, May 9th uh, with my master's in higher education and I'm super excited. I'll be graduating from Loyola University of Chicago, but I actually did my undergrad uh, where I double majored in economics and environmental sustainability at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I wish I would have known about these curly girl friendly hair hacks in undergrad. So I'm hella happy to like share them with you all today in this video. Comment below if you're walking soon, if you're graduating from high school, undergrad, grad school, if you're going to a graduation ceremony, whether you're in school or not. Also, let me know what you're studying. What, what are your plans for this summer? Uh, I would love to hear what other people are doing, what other people are studying, um, especially being in higher education, which is working at a college or a university. I love hearing what other people's interests are pertaining to like their studies. And although grad school has like kicked my butt to the T, I love graduation season. It's the season for black excellence. It's the season for cute graduation outfits. And I love seeing people's decorated graduation caps. Feel free to like DM me your graduation caps on Instagram. Let me know if these curly hair hacks and straight hair hacks worked for you in the comment section below. I don't know, I don't know. But let's get started with the video. Okay, so for this video, I'm actually gonna be using the graduation cap that I decorated in undergrad. So for the first hack, the point of this one is to be one with the cap and work your hair around the shape of the cap. So you're going to basically wear the cap how you traditionally would and secure the sides and the back if you want with bobby pins. And the material of the cap is really great so that the bobby pins really help it to stay completely secure. I find this best with like a fresh wash and go because my hair isn't as wild and free on the first or second day so it's much easier to work with. So part two to this hack is for those who have really, really full hair. So what you're gonna do is smooth the top of your hair down and then bobby pin the crown of your hair to help flatten it and then place the cap on and bobby pin as usual. Because this hack is about working your hair around how you would traditionally wear the cap, it also might be great to frame your face by twisting the front of your hair and then securing it with a bobby pin. So hack number one is definitely one of the most common hacks that I've seen. But for the second hack, the point of this one is to work the cap around your hair. This way you're able to frame your face however you want without the front of the cap squashing like the front part of your hair down or making your hair or your bangs look weird. So you're going to tuck the pointy front part of the cap inward and then just secure with bobby pins. And I really like this hack because this lets the cap work around your hair instead of how the first hack you had to work your hair around the cap. So you're able to frame your face and I really like it because you get to like shape your bangs how you want. So you can repeat what we went over in like hack number one. You can either leave it like that or you can bobby pin the crown of your hair down to like help flatten it or you can twist the front of your hair to help frame your face even more. It's really up to you. If you've ever heard the saying, big hair, bigger secrets, or whatever it is, hack number three is exactly that. So with this hack, you simply hot glue gun a skinny headband with teeth underneath the center of your cap. For the purpose of this video, I taped the headband, um, but to have the most security, you would most definitely use a hot glue gun. And then you would just be sure to hide the band of your headband um, in your hair, and it's pretty much as easy as that. And just be sure that you are lining the headband and cap up correctly so it sits on your head in the right direction and so it's centered. 
This hack is by far my favorite because number one, it's super secure, and number two, it won't require any bobby pins for the most part. I personally am not a fan of using bobby pins in my hair because it is very easy to see them against my hair color and sometimes even the color of the graduation cap. So hack number four is basically the same thing as number three, only this time we are going to tuck the front like we did in hack number two. And then for extra security, you can just add bobby pins to the front tucked part of the cap. So the final graduation cap hack is the capless graduation cap. Start off by one, cutting the cap part of your graduation cap off, then two, hot glue any excess cap material sticking up from the inner circle. Three, we want to cover that white area in the inner circle so that the cap looks all one color. Take the leftover fabric, cut to size, and hot glue so that the surface is all one color. Four, add any final touches. Your hair will be covering this part anyway, so notice that it's not necessary to be the neatest. The goal is to make the bottom of the cap all one color. Then take your headband and hot glue it directly in the center. Be sure it's aligned and centered correctly so it sits on your head in the right direction and is balanced. Now you've got a cap that comfortably and securely sits on your head and complements your hair. I personally think this hack is perfect for girls with big hair or girls that want to do a specific style. So hopefully you found at least one of these graduation cap uh, hair hacks helpful. These hacks are pretty much meant to complement any hair texture, any hairstyle, and of course you can tweak it to whatever fits your needs. I personally love wearing my hair down for graduation. Hopefully this video was helpful in the sense that it'll help you wear your hair down if you wanted to just wear your hair down like you normally do. And don't forget to comment what school you go to, what are you studying, are you an under undergrad, high school, college, not in college, thinking about going to college, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one.